Good morning. It's Sunday, November 19th, and it's time for Proverbs 19. Uh, today, in the New American Standard, they finally changed the title. Instead of contrasting good and the bad, we're talking about on life conduct. Now let's get into it. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than he who is perverse in speech and is a fool. Right. And integrity is, right? <clears throat> integrity is doing the same thing when no one is watching as you would when everyone's watching you. That's integrity. Good stuff. Also, it is not good for a person to be without knowledge. And he who hurries his footsteps errs. Errs. Okay. <laughs> Sins is a literal of that. <clears throat> Not good for a person to be without knowledge. The foolishness of man runs his way, and his heart rages against the Lord. Yeah. Your way or the Lord's way? never turns out when you're trying to do it your own way, huh? Wealth has many friends, but a poor man is separated from his friend. Right. I've known people with a lot of money and had a lot of friends, and when their money went away, their friends did too. It's not a real friend. These aren't real friends. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who tells lies will not escape. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's hope this happens with all these politicians out there today, huh? Many will seek the favor of a generous man, and every man is a friend of him who gives gifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people love money. All the brothers of a poor man hate him. How much more do his friends abandon him? He pursues them with words, but they are gone. Yeah, talking a lot about money in here, huh? <clears throat> he who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will find good. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who tells lies will perish. Like a five and nine say the same thing. <clears throat> He's reiterating. Don't tell lies. <laughs> Luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less for a slave to rule over princes. <clears throat> Have you ever known... Fools that become rich, there are some. And it was in the news, you know, because they do stupid things. <laughs> you know, they do stupid things, buy stupid stuff. People that win the lottery, you know, just by chance. And, you know, you win two or three million dollars, even a small lottery, and 99% of them, within one year, it's gone, and they actually have less than they have when they started with. <clears throat> when $2 million could easily, you could live and retire and be comfortable for a lifetime with $2 million, you know, with a bit of frugalness and wisdom. But it's not fitting if you're a fool. A man's discretion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook transgressions. All right. I like that one. That one's going yellow. <clears throat> slow to anger how many people fly off the handle the king's wrath is like a roaring of a lion but his favor is like dew on the grass we don't have kings but there are people you don't want to make mad huh like mom a <laughs> foolish son is destruction to his father and the contentions of a wife are constant dripping. Contentions of a wife. 
House and wealth are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Got that? Laziness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle man will suffer hunger. Yeah. If you're lazy, you're going hungry. He who keeps the commandment keeps his soul, but he who is careless of conduct will die. Right? One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord. I always like that one. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Right? <clears throat> if you help out poor people, you're lending to the Lord. You're giving to the Lord. You know. Jesus said, you know, when I was poor, did you feed me? When I was thirsty, did you give me a drink? And his followers said, when, when were you ever poor or hungry? We would have given you a drink. He said, whatever you do to the least of these, you have done to me. So Jesus got that from right here. One who's gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord. <clears throat> Do you like to reiterate Jesus' words? That's great stuff. Discipline your own son while there is hope, and do not desire his death, or literally causing him to die. You need to discipline your children from the ages of zero to eight years old. <clears throat> That's when all their habits and all their stuff will be set. If you wait till after that, and you're going to have problems. And there's lots of problems out today. So, if you've got young kids, toddlers, teach them now. While there is hope. <laughs> Otherwise, it's the same as wishing them dead. Okay, he says it right here. A man of great anger will bear the penalty, for if you rescue him, you will only have to do it again. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I was going to highlight that, but I won't. You know, there are some people that are always angry, and every time you save them, you just got to save them again and again and again and again, because they're hotheads. Listen to counsel and accept discipline, that you may be wise for the rest of your days. Okay. It means, whoops, it means read these words and take them to heart. That's what we're doing. That's why we're reading them over and over again. Many plans are in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord will stand. Yeah, plan all you want. God's going to have his way. What is desirable in a man is his kindness. And it is better to be a poor man than a liar. Got that? What is desirable in a man is his kindness or loyalty. <clears throat> the fear of the Lord leads to life, so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that. I'll make that pink. Boom. Fear of the Lord leads to life. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish, but will not even bring it back to his mouth. <laughs> Lazy people. <clears throat> Strike a scoffer, and the naive may become shrewd. But reprove one who is, has understanding, and he will gain knowledge. <laughs> this is another word for this naive is simple. Simpletons. Yeah. Strike a scoffer, you're just going to make him mad. Will you stop that? <clears throat> he who assaults his father and drives his mother away is a shameful and disgraceful son. Right. I've known some, you know, what are some people that do just that, too? Cease listening, my son, to discipline, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. Hmm? 
a rascally witness makes a mockery of justice, and the mouth of the wicked spreads iniquity. <laughs> a rascally witness. I'm going to look that up because that's... I can find Proverbs in here. I missed it, didn't I? Numbers, Deuteronomy, Judges, Ruth, Samuel. Kings. Still looking for Proverbs. That's why I use Cordova on indexing. It's easier to find Proverbs. <laughs> says in the NIV, instead of rascally, it says a corrupt witness. Okay, That's probably a better word. Corrupt, bribed, paid off, makes a mockery of justice. And the mouth of the wicked spreads iniquity, or swallows iniquity. And judgments are prepared for scoffers and blows for the back of fools. Hmm? They used to flog people, you know, instead of wasting time putting them in jail. Some of you people today, you know, they're in jail for something when, you know, a simple flogging would have taught them their lesson, okay? And it would heal, probably better than the scars you get in jail. So, that's Proverb 19. We highlighted some stuff in here. We highlighted the word in verse 1. Blessed is a better is a poor man who walks in his integrity. Hmm? Verse 2. Also, it is not good for a person to be without knowledge. Hmm? It's not good to be stupid. Ignorant. Stupid means you can't learn. Ignorant means you just don't know. And sometimes you don't want to know. <clears throat> so you remain ignorant. It's not good for a person to be without knowledge. And we highlighted verse 4. Wealth adds many friends, but a poor man is separated from his friend. Right. Kind of friends you don't need, you know. Family wants you for your money. Verse 5. A false witness will not go unpunished, but he who tells lies. And he who tells lies will not escape. Sooner or later, your lies will catch up to you. Sooner or later. We highlighted verse 9. The same thing as 5. False witness will not go unpunished. He who tells lies will perish. Reiterating that. Luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less for a slave to rule over princes. Yeah, we talked about that too. But people winning the lottery and losing it. A man's discretion makes him slow to anger. And it is his glory to overlook a transgression. Right. As the saying says, just let it go. Right? Let it go. Just let it go. For your own peace. <laughs> and 17. One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord. He will pay him for his good deed. Okay. Give to the poor. The Lord will repay you. Because it's the same as giving to the Lord. Like it's what Jesus said. Number 18. Discipline your son while there is hope. And do not desire his death. Mm -hmm. If you don't discipline your kids while they're young. Same as you're wishing them dead. Okay? It's your job. Listen to counsel and accept discipline that you may be wise the rest of your days. Hmm? As to the kids that, you know, you're disciplining your kids. <laughs> Verse 22, what is desirable in a man is his kindness. And it is better to be a poor man than a liar. Okay. 
And verse 23, the fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. Good stuff. And verse 26, he who assaults his father and drives his mother away is a shameful and disgraceful son. There are some of these, you know. There are some of these. There was a girl who had this video out that kind of went viral just because of how stupid she was. And I do say stupid. Simpleton. <laughs> Suing her parents for giving birth to her without her permission. And now, since they gave birth to her without her permission, they have to take care of her for her whole life. Okay. And she actually won this lawsuit. She founded some liberal, stupid judge somewhere that actually agreed with her. You know? They didn't ask me if I wanted to be born. Maybe I wanted to be aborted. It's just, you know, he who assaults his father and drives his mother away is a shameful and disgraceful son, daughter, person. So, there you have it. We should have should have highlighted 28 since we spent so much time looking it up, right? A rascally witness makes a mockery of justice and the mouth of the wicked spreads iniquity or swallows iniquity. And we learned that rascally is the same as corrupt. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. Paid for, bought witness. And there's a lot of these. <clears throat> Don't kid yourself. So, that's Proverbs 19 for Sunday. Keep doing this. Keep learning over and over until we get them in there so they're just in there. You know? How long will that take? I don't know. Years, maybe. But we won't stop. So, until next time, have a good Sunday. Be restful. Pray. Go to church. See you tomorrow.